your local guy Justin Auburn here in Bellevue. Quit using 1-800-Flowers and call Rachel here at the Purple Orchid. So I'm here with Rachel. She is a florist and the owner at the Purple Orchid here in Bellevue. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for meeting with me today. Thank you. And so how did you get your passion for flowers? How did you get started? Uh, just from an early age. I, my grandmother, my great grandmother, and even my dad used to love the garden. So I even have pictures of me and my uh, walker in a backyard full of uh, peonies and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that's so started, started young. <laughs> on my road. <laughs> I've been in the industry uh, since uh, 1997. Um, my website also talks about my husband. My husband's been in design and so forth uh, since 92. So he used to do a lot of lighting and um, landscaping stuff uh, in that aspect. And how long has the Purple Orchid been here? Uh, so officially, uh, we opened in, in February of uh, 2017. <laughs> So why purple orchid then? What's the significance there? So my favorite color is purple and then um, my favorite flower, orchids. Actually, my landlord's like, well, it's fitting that you're in Bellevue because all the city colors are purple uh, and all the schools are purple. So our busiest time of year is the month of May uh, with Mother's Day and graduation season. We have a mobile flower truck where we have the contract to uh, sell flowers at Baxter Arena for all the Omaha Public Schools, Millard Schools, Papillion Schools, Metro Community College, and UNMC. So that keeps us very busy the month of May. My little flower truck is called Shorty's Flower Mobile Flower Truck. So, <laughs> why, why why the name Shorty? Uh, it's an old '79 panel truck, and she's been lowered, so she literally has a three-inch ground clearance. So she's short like I am. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain flower that's either very spendy or out of season. I'll do fresh and artificial because having a wedding bouquet preserved can cost a lot of money. And if you don't plan properly, it's hard to preserve a, a bridal bouquet if the plans haven't been made beforehand. What's the craziest request you've ever had? Well, I've, uh, I've done a lot of different things. Uh, I've done um, uh, where we floated arrangements uh, in a pool for a wedding reception. Um, and I even have been as crazy rock star like where we did a wedding reception at a strip club. So um, <laughs> I've also done big weddings uh, at the Durham Museum. And uh, we last year did the Monet uh, art exhibit at um, the Men America Center. Why should somebody go with your flower shop by say 1-800-Flowers? Well, uh, the thing with all the water services like 1-800-Flowers and FTD is they actually charge the florist a lot of money uh, to be part of them. And um, so to get more bang for your buck is to call Florist Direct uh, because they can tell you what they actually have in stock. And I actually take care of my flowers where sometimes the drop ship companies, they're literally dropping a box off at your doorstep, whether there's somebody there or not. And so on 90 degree days, they can be wilted. Or when it's sub-zero outside, you're gonna have brown mush because your flowers are frozen. Rachel, thanks so much for meeting with me today and uh, sharing more about Purple Orchid. Thank you for coming. And Ted says, buy local. <laughs> <laughs> if you need help buying, selling, or leasing a home, I hope you remember my name. I would love to get the opportunity to earn your trust and confidence. Call me on my cell at 402-600-3006 if you would like to be featured as one of my upcoming guests and share your story in a future video.
and use the. Uh, he is a florist and the owner at the Purple Orchard. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Why is the shump? <laughs> All right, all right, and then <laughs> all right. uh, sharing more about Purple Orchard. <laughs> my gosh, <laughs> it's like stuck in my or, head or, now. here. Why don't we? Right, <laughs> Rachel, thanks so much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna...